<sighs> we have to um, raise our thinking level if we want any of this stuff to change these conditions. We have to remember we was already here. All of us hear somebody in our family talking about we got Indian in us. And some people think that in order to have Indian in you, you got to have straight hair. Let me tell you, that's not the case. Um, we got all textures of hair on our land. All shades of skin was on our land. The ones who were of Irish descent that was over here, they tribe settled in the Appalachian Mountains and they gave birth to the sniper from hunting for food in the mountains. I'm gonna do a couple um I'm gonna have to rely on y'all to share this because I'm not on my primary page and there's not a lot of people who um nor not as many people know about this page as my main page. But since they got me blocked, I'm going to do a couple more here. Okay. So since they got me blocked, I'm going to do this on this page. So <clears throat> y'all take the time and share so we can get this information out to our people. Each one teach one. We all got to reach some. And um, tongue and tribe, booyah, booyah, booyah up in this motherfucker. Yeah, Kind Kind Man Samusa had been doing trade with the Americas during his lifetime. And why do you think he was the richest man in the world? Right? He got his wealth from bartering trade with the indigenous people from this side of the water. And from um, certain things that was over there in the... Uh, Ghana area where he was from so there's a series of um yeah I'm blocked on um on uh from doing lives on my main page but I can do this one right so um on this one I'm gonna have to rely on y'all to share it um to get more, uh, a broader reach right so, we witnessed the Kanye concert, and a lot of y'all don't know, Mother Nature told this bitch up last night all over the place. Tornadoes everywhere, motherfucking uh, torrential rains, high winds, all this shit been going on, and the weather is only going to get worse till we see three kings walking the land. So, when the suns come out, we gonna have the sun come out, right? They um, dismantled the heart machine in 2019 under the under the Trump administration. So since they canceled it, what y'all thinking is heart? It's not heart. Mother Nature's showing her natural ass cleaning this bitch up. Yep, tornadoes in six states. Uh, we had. Um, Certain places had heavy rainfall. Some of that rain turned to hell. Some of it turned to sleep. Um, it's the winds has been blowing over shit. The strangest shit happened today. I had a black pit named Bronx, but he was a blue. But he, his color was black. But his bloodline was he was a blue bully. And today, um. A blue bully came strolling past my house as a stray. And that's what we call a familiar knock to a knockback off who let the dogs out. Kanye and Drake let the fucking dogs out. So now, if we understand what we're seeing with the concert, we got to remember um, the OGs in California signed off on this. Or it wouldn't have went so smooth, right? All of the clans 
leadership is trying to get the people to wake up to what's taking place in real time. So we got to raise our thinking above the corporation and the slave mentality that they gave us with their religions and their dogmas and their political upheavals all across the land. Yep. They going to give me shit cuz I'm going I'm going to drop this motherfucking shit so I don't give a fuck. Let them give me shit. I don't know what your question is, sweetie. Why would they sign off? But, um, so in 2017, the, um, corporate side passed the Indigenous Rights Act, right? So look up Indigenous Rights Act of the United States, and it tells you clearly in there that the tribal chiefs have the first right to restore the land to its natural balance with nature, period. And that means everything outside of D.C. is tribal land until D.C. went bankrupt. And now that's closed, which will be reincorporated under the tribal lands doctrines. Now, <clears throat> they sit here and they listen to me tell y'all the history of stuff like Islam, Christianity, Judaism, the rise and fall of the Roman Empire that's just now falling because that's Babylon from the book of Daniel that you see where this single stone was hewn without the hands of a man and struck the feet of the giant, which was made of iron and clay. That's the artificial corporate fiction. So, um, now we in the process of trying to get the people to know. Not, not guess, not think, not go by what somebody else told them. Tune in to the God within so you can know who on the right frequency and who not. A whole lot of people going to try to sell you a whole lot of shit, but I'm not selling anything. Right? The Under the Vatican is catacombs, and the catacombs under the Vatican is where the one we call the Great Dragon was living for the past 6,000 years. And the reason why he has 6,000 years to rule because... We're going out of the lunar age and going into the solar age. That means we're going out of the silver cycle, which came with weather conditions that was cold, drab, snowfall, all that. Now we're going into the sun cycle, and the government is talking about global warming and the heat up of the planet. The global warming that they're talking about, if you read the ancient record, it is the changing of the cycles at the close of the age so the reason why the beast had six thousand years to rule is because she won a war by infiltration and when she won that war then she had um the mitochondrial right to rule but she don't look like a female right so she stayed under the vatican well that bitch dead now good riddance and so they were the ones having a loyalist boots on the ground doing a dirt for them, like the Bush family, like the JDL. They had contacts and agreements made through blood rituals and blood oaths with the conquistadors. And she promised that they would be able to overtake God's children and rule earth. That's not going to happen. So, what all we have to do is know who we are. We automatically exclude all imposters just by knowing who the fuck we are. We was already here. We didn't come on ships. They came on ships. Then they told us their story with a twist. Then they took some of our people and, and under the Back to Africa movement that they created under James Monroe and they did the Liberia Project, which moved a, displaced a lot of indigenous people from this land and took them to a foreign land, right? Now they over there waking up talking about where the fuck am I at? 
I'm over here in my cousin's house. What the fuck am I doing here? Right? <clears throat> All the time, we over here reclaiming our shit by putting it out into the public domain. Who did it? Jewish Defense League, Zionist Moors, called Conquistadors. What did they do? They used religion, child sacrifice, baby rape, blood rituals to keep us dumb, blind, and deaf to the fact that we was already here. Then they used their education to miseducate us on purpose. And once they had us miseducated, then they tried to insert an artificial history into our memories by telling us that we came over here packed like sardines in a slave ship, a two, three thousand strong on a six month cruise with no running water. Right? Because they say we didn't have no running water. You got no running water. So ain't no wash the water hoses to wash this motherfucking um, hull of the ship. So they can't wash it. What, what What is they doing with all the piss and the shit that's turning into fumes? Right? What is they doing with all of the, the vomit from those who get seasick from the waves? Where is all this shit going when you got a thousand people? Even if you only got 250 people, what are you going to do with the waste product when you don't have flushing toilets on a ship? Right? This the bullshit they telling us to believe without questioning it. And then when you start questioning it, <clears throat> you have some <clears throat> Negro come in and tell you we came on some goddamn slave ships. Where you from? We not Negroes. We ain't black. We ain't color folks. Truth be told, we ain't either Indian or indigenous. We are ancient species that was native to this planet. We been here from the beginning and we gonna be here when all of these dirty motherfuckers is gone. So they came and they upset the peace. Now it's time to establish justice. And you establish justice by being right and telling the goddamn truth. Right? So they clearly tell you that the conquistadors followed Columbus over here. So we know who came. They tell you in their history books, Christopher Columbus, why did he come? Now they come with some bullshit story talk about he was looking for an alternative trade route to India. Now remember, man, Samusa been trading this bitch for all his life. He left one of his brothers over here in the islands with uh, the rulership staff to make pacts and agreements with the chiefs of the land before it was any conquistadors. We, was got, we got along fine. They didn't have no problem with us. We had no problem with them. Right? Now, at the same time we being colonized over here, they colonizing Africa, they colonizing India, they colonizing Asia, they colonizing Australia, they colonizing New Zealand. These motherfuckers is colonizing everywhere. Now, how you know they not us? Everywhere they colonize, they are a cancer to society. They are a cancer to the mentality and the well-being of the people. They are a cancer that causes you to have cancer by putting poisons in your food product. Right? So, they told us, we Hebrews. I ain't no goddamn Hebrew. That's some Middle East shit. Don't have nothing to do with us over here. While they was over there dealing with Abraham, we was over here dealing with Klesu Kodo. While they was over there teaching about Jesus, we was over here teaching Popuvo, right? Kukulakan, right? We was we got our own religious texts that predate anything they have written down. So who do we go? Who we gonna go with? We gonna go with the story the invaders telling us, or the history our ancestors left for us? And if we go with the history our ancestors left for us, though they did right. Our rule is done through what we call oral tradition. They only got a couple more days to produce the king and Mother Nature really going to be upset. Because the next wave, she going to tear this bitch up on a level unheard. Right? Yep. The Tongan Islands, they colonized. 
the Samoan Islands, they colonized, the Polynesians, they colonized everywhere. They put their minions everywhere to miseducate, mislead us. So now here, what are we going to do? Right? What are we going to do? First, before we tear anything up, we have to stand up to gather in unity and overcome the obstacle we face with, what we face with. The colonizers is trying to recontract using a paperwork system to deceive you back into the same bullshit they tricked your ancestors into. They have not honored one motherfucking treaty. By being in default of all the treaties, it automatically give us the position of the treaty right. I mean, we can enforce the treaties by nullifying them due to what they call non-performance. Non-performance being they didn't do what they said they was going to do according to the contract. In every treaty, you cannot find one treaty that wasn't violated. So if they violate every treaty, and the books say everywhere they go, they cause mischief and bloodshed. Now, they violating every treaty. They're not supposed to kill the chiefs of the land, but they're killing them, right? They're not supposed to take the chiefs off the land in order to reorganize the land, but they're locking them up. Then not only are they locking them up, they locking them up for the exact same shit they doing. And we're not seeing it. We have to see above the, above the level of this corporate fiction. Right? When you see it for what it is, it's only a motherfucking government in two-dimensional form, meaning on paper. It's not a three-dimensional construct. It's a two-dimensional construct. All you got to do is add one thing to it, and it all kind of comes from the thing being is the truth. When you tell the truth, they system can't stand in the face of it because now they have to answer to why all law is commercial. They have to answer where these barristers come from. They got to answer why are all of these non-Article 3 courts sending people to prisons. Then they got to say why is all state law, civil law, and federal court, meaning that in civil law, you can't lock nobody up for a debt. But they're using it under false pretenses, right? Now, when you question them, they get upset. Let's take the friend of the court who women have been weaponizing against the people of the land um, in order to keep the men from being able to produce for his family if he have one or two older children before he decides to settle down. He's not economically viable to settle down under the conditions that the friend of the court have them. Friend of the court is not a child support agency. The friend of the court, when you go into the law, what a friend of the court is supposed to be doing is an independent fact finder that produces facts to the court. That shows that there's an injustice somewhere being done and who's behind the injustice in the case that's at bar. Everybody that's being took to the friend of the court, man or woman, or, or their children, when you in, put your children in the friend of the court, you are asking the government to be the other, the third parent, which under the corporate fiction, the government is the third parent anyway. So the, the Supreme Court of States are using the friend of the court as a de facto collection agency, meaning that they not, they acting under the color of law, but the jurisdiction doesn't grant the privilege that they are executing under the color of law. So when they violate all their treaties, when they whole system, it tells you in a system that it's a fraud. When you understand that we have the first right to restore the land and the people back to whole. And you begin to understand it from that perspective, you realize who you are because they want to steal your birthright. And the only way they can have your birthright, you have to surrender it willingly or you have to be declared an imbecile in law, which gives them, according to the papal bull, the rights over the imbeciles who cannot 
manage the affairs of their estate. So I seen a, a video they sent me some sent me last night and they had the brother Blue Pill and a couple more guys on there and they was going in about the metaphysics to the whole Larry Hoover situation. And y'all probably should check that out on YouTube because the metaphysics of it is the spirit science behind the physical alarm that I'm sounding when I'm telling y'all this shit. Right? So we standing here and we looking at the fall of the legal fiction and the rise of the juristic persons, the sovereigns of the land, to reclaim the land back. The Free Larry Hoover slogan, as I said with the uh, sister yesterday, it encompasses more than Free Larry Hoover. That's why all of the OGs was on board with Jay Prince with bringing a Chicago artist and a Canadian artist to Los Angeles and to put this shit on the floor because it got to start in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is where we stick the dynamite in the tailpipe and blow their asshole loose. They not bullshitting on the West Coast while the rest of us are sleeping. Our brothers and sisters is out there standing firm we ain't backing the fuck down. So we gonna either join them or be left to be feed for our enemies. Because any turncoats and traitors will be left to be their food. Because that's what they're gonna do with them. They're gonna eat them. So when you see motherfuckers being lifted off the earth, believe they not us. Believe them motherfuckers don't belong here. Believe they not staying here. Right? So to break out of the mindset of the paperwork that they got you in, the paperwork is using all of this other foreign languages that you have no knowledge of. You It takes years of studying this shit, and that's why I had the hardest job. I had the hardest job because didn't nobody else want to do that? all of that work. It's a lot of work. I don't care. Big Mama asked me to do something, and my mama asked me to do something. Right? So it's going to get fucking done. I'm going to keep on coming on this motherfucker. I'm always find an outlet for my voice. Every time these motherfuckers shut me down, I'm going to pop the fuck back up somewhere else, dropping these motherfucking jewels on the community until we see what we need to be seeing. This is the moment of truth. And the moment of truth is when the bull finally see the matador behind the cake. I'm showing y'all the man behind the curtain is a fraud. This big mama house. That's a vice lord knock. Black and gold. This big mama shit. And big mama got on man's shoes. And when big mama put on man's shoes, big mama got her gun. And big mama carry a big fucking gun. And that's why I had Shets up wore a beard. To make sure you motherfuckers understand this big mama shit. And she sent her boys in here to get shit. We not gonna stop until we figure out a way. We not gonna stop until we find a solution to the problem. So, from Big Mama House, Big Red, my mama, said, get Big Mama shit, and Big Mama gonna make sure we all get our shit. So now I'm on the march for Big Mama shit, because Big Mama said, these motherfuckers don't belong here, we don't know who they is or where they came from, but they can't stay. And if Big Mama can't say, then this is the eviction notice, notice the principal is notice to agent, notice to agent is notice to principal. Public notice is acceptable vehicle of legal transmission. The legal transmission that we have issued is a habeas corpus that expires on the 12th. We need to see three kings walking by the 12th or Mother Nature is going to shake these motherfuckers into a new millennium and a new reality that they're not ready for. Right? So, man intervention has been trying to stay volcanic eruptions. Man through human intervention, has been trying to use certain conjures to reverse these weather patterns because their heart machines are disabled. But man is incompetent and inept when he's facing Big Mama. You can't beat her. And you definitely can't beat the Queen of Heaven and Earth, her, her favorite daughter. 
So being that this is earth, mother earth, and mother earth is the favorite daughter of the great mother, which is the universe, and it is being symbolically ruled by the queen of heaven and earth, which is Isis, who has been usurped by the dragon queen, who don't look like us, got to stay hid so we won't see who the bitch is and lose all her power. So when Big Mama sent her boys to do something, it's one thing about us. These country boys may talk a little country to y'all folk. We might not use great grammar all the time. We might talk a little funny to some of y'all. Y'all might not understand the southern drawl. But I tell you one thing. Country boys ain't dumb as y'all think they is. You understand what I'm telling you? Country boys ain't dumb as y'all think they is. Every time y'all come down here trying that stuff, we always come out one on top. Mm. So this is where we at with it. Line that shit up. Do the math. Do the algebra. The trigonometry. The geometry. The astronomy. The astrology. The physics. The metaphysics. The quantum physics. All of this shit going to equal up to one thing. Big Mama Home. Period. And when Big Mama come home. And her son been telling you to get the fuck out. Now she gonna take the motherfucking gloves off. And you gonna see hell like you ain't never seen until Big Mama get happy. She gonna rain terror from the skies. And she's gonna shake the ground until you motherfuckers wake up. Right? So we need to be alerting every media that we can use to get the word out. Every one of your favorite celebrities have a platform of millions. We need to be bombarding them. You ain't selling no records if you ain't pushing the free Larry Hoover agenda. Period. We the ones who buy their records. You will not motherfucking make a movie that we gonna watch if you not using your platform to free Larry Hoover. Because with Larry Hoover comes all of our political prisoners that COINTELPRO launched out their attack, sacked us, and took the leadership from the people so they can mislead the people themselves. Y'all can either keep falling for the dumb shit or y'all can stand up. So tomorrow is 12-12. That's 33-21, which is another three. That's 33 and a third on the master knock. Right? And then the next day is 12, 13. That's when Mama home. Queen mother. 13th seat of the Zodiac. They tried to change the gender and told you that the grand man in 12 parts. But the male of their species has a man womb. They see horses. They ain't like us. They look like us. And then they got a whole bunch of minions that's similar to us. But they don't vibe on our frequency. They don't understand the concept of unconditional love and they don't understand that if you want the future to be secure, you secure the children. They don't want us to know this shit because they can't control us when we do. The whole crucifixion story is just that. Fiction. The crux of fiction is at the point where the fiction begins. It's strange that nobody noticed that Christianity is older than Judaism. It's strange y'all don't know that. It's strange that nobody knows that the Bible was put out in the public domain before there was a Torah. But they broke it in half. Because they needed a multiple angle attack, a three-tier attack. So they came in as conquistadors. Then they came in as Christian missionaries. Then they came in as Islamic zealots to propagate their bullshit all across our land. So we be so busy fighting about Judaism, Christianity, and Islam that they done rocked us to sleep and took all our shit. Chief Pontiac said they came over here with their Bibles and told us to bow our heads and pray. When we raised our heads up, we had the Bible and they was controlling our land. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We need to get the word out. This is more than Larry Hoover. 
This is Asada Shakur. This is uh, Imam Jamal Alameen. This Mumia. This all of the motherfuckers that didn't put their life on the line to try to get us free. And we left them hanging. We left them to rot in prison. We left them to get murdered. We left them to get castrated and lynched. We left them to get tarred and feathered and set on fire. We left our leaders at every turn. And without no leadership, there is no direction. Right? So this time, the leaders is hesitant to stand up for the people. Because the people won't stand up for the leader. It's a mutual symbiotic relationship between the leader and his constituents. Between the people of the land and the leaders on the land that need to be walking the land as free men. You cannot be a bond servant and negotiate liberation and freedom. You got to be free if you're talking about freedom. This is why you could never get free because we've been always arguing for our freedom from a bond servant's position. As a corporate legal fiction. They don't got to give you nothing. Malcolm said, we fighting for civil rights. What about human rights? Basic human rights. Basic human dignity. Basic motherfucking shit. Food, clothing, and shelter. What about that kind of shit? What about common courtesy and walking down the street and speak to somebody because y'all caught eye contact. You don't know them and they don't know you, but the only way to tell the truth and break the ice is speak. No, we don't want to do that. Because they didn't put a nigga in our community that told us, look at that nigga staring at you, you got to punch him in his shit. Then when you punch him in his shit, y'all get to scrap it when it's all over, this nigga nowhere to be found. Then when you bump back into him, damn, that shit got thick, dog, I had to get out of there. Churn coat ass traded motherfuckers the same way, sold out Denmark Vasey, Gabrielle Prosser, and they even tell you in the story in that Turner that he was sold out by slaves. By niggas that look like him. They didn't call them slaves. They just said a Negro. A Negro alerted the authorities while they were asleep. A Negro from their, uh, from among them. We ain't Negroes. Y'all gotta remember that. They've been telling us the whole time these Negro pins just call itself the white man, but he ain't white. They've been Stuck up in our communities feeding us bullshit to keep us deluded into believing we from somewhere we not from, so therefore we can't say who we are. Right? Some of y'all don't know who Goodwill's with Athene is, but he was the king of the Zulu Empire in South Africa. And he recently passed right after Credo Mutua. But all of his constituents knew who he was. And the government of South Africa wouldn't fuck with him because that would cause a wrath of the people like none other. But here we is over here twiddling our thumbs and masturbating because it feel good but don't produce nothing while our leaders are suffering, the ultimate suffering on the behalf of the very people that's supposed to be fighting for their freedom. It's not hard. Stand the fuck up. You leaving all of the stand up motherfuckers incapacitated while you leaving all these lay down and take it up to ass niggas in the street. They homosexual cult makes them push a homosexual gender so that they can convert and feminize your sons to act like daughters so there's no defense for the women when the women decide enough is a goddamn enough. Who gonna motherfucking enforce that shit for you all your boys sissies? But they say don't say nothing about the elemental pew community. Fuck them motherfuckers. That shit wasn't over here before they came. And that shit can go back to Europe. Or wherever the fuck they brought it from. Because it's not native to earth. Right? They tell you in the, own, in the same shit they brought over here. A man is not to lay with a man as a man lay with a woman. That's they shit. That they brought over here while they doing exactly that. Fucking a, a boy. Uh, raping the kids, they're doing all of the dirt on our shit. Right? So it's up to us. It ain't up to them. They we they don't control our destiny, we do.
Yeah, Lovecraft was actually a loose uh, depiction of what's going to be going on now. When you see all of the different ancient people from different countries around the world just so happen to pop up in America. Um, and Oh, that's American Gods. Lovecraft Country was about the Grim Wars, the family records, and the family record book that's kept in cave tunnels so that you can't never see what the fuck is going on and where your people at. We all over this bitch. They kept record. They couldn't do it without keeping record. They know what tribe you belong to. You only got to worry about that shit. You just got to disassociate from the legal fiction. The legal fiction is an artificial corporation that they call in yourself your government. Right? This is why they talking about indicting Nancy Pelosi, bitch ass, because the Speaker of the House is the, is the leader of the government, not the president who leads the military. Right? So they got us all deluded into how the politics work, how the legal system work, in varying different aspects of shit like that. Right? Well, we ain't tricked no more. We not tricked no more. So, um, I'm looking in here just in case I got some good questions because sometimes they come up. Yep, masters are here. In force. They all on this side of the water right now from all over the world. Right. Oh, yeah, Cradle is my dude. So, um, when you understand what's going on, you become obligated to teach somebody that don't understand what's going on. This is why I'm doing this. I hate social media with a passion. I don't like being out in the public domain. I don't like being one that got to come and tell everybody about the problem. Fuck what I like. We in trouble. They they already here. We, we we in trouble. They already here. So since we in trouble already, and since they already here, fuck what I like. I don't care. I don't have to be comfortable. I don't have to be smiling. Right? But I got to tell y'all. Somebody popped a question in. So, oracles and empaths, get your downloads Tell it to the public what you're seeing in relation to the situation. Tarot Carters on your platform, do a free Larry Hoover reading. Find out what the universe got to say about it. Formulate the question how you think it needs to be formulated because you're going to get the most accurate answers. When you put your own magic into it, you make it as strong as it can be. So the empaths and the oracles job is to check the information with spirit that information that i'm dropping check me out check larry out check out chief malik angel bay check out big tuki pull cards on all of them see what they doing see what the universe want them to be doing see if they are the ones you need to be aligning with it's going to tell you the exact same shit i'm telling you whether you pull it in the cards whether you flip it in the motherfucking i chings whether you do it with the motherfucking sticks, whether you do it with the entrail reading, whether you do it with what you call the cold empath dry reads, it doesn't matter. They're going to tell you the same thing. This, this motherfucker right here, right? Larry Hoover, Angel Bay, and Big Tukey, the three kings that need to be on the land, they're going to tell you. You ain't, don't believe me. Use yourself as first frame of reference and your emotions is your navigation system. Tap into the energy frequency of the universe and then ask the question. Let it sit and the answer going to occur to you. That means the, uh, the universe finally told, under, when, when you when you're waiting on the answer to occur to you, the universe is finding how will you receive the information best to let you know that you're accurate before it gives it to you because you cannot lie to yourself. So your higher self that's tied directly to source is going to put the information 
<clears throat> in a certain way to put it back to you where you know for your own self, for nobody don't got to tell you shit. I ain't got to tell it to you. Them uh, preacher ain't got to tell it to you. The imam ain't. The rabbi don't. You already know. The Especially the empaths, especially the tarot readers, check this shit out. Do full tarot spreads on your platform the same way you want celebrities to be called. If you ain't supporting Larry Hoover, we finna stop buying your records. When they start getting two, three hundred of them motherfuckers a day, they gonna know I can't run from this no more. There's, there's no way I can stay silent and then continue to survive at the level of luxury I'm at. If these people stop supporting my industry, my product, my labors of my soul, my passions, if they stop buying my records, they stop buying my books, they stop watching my movies because I don't support the indigenous people of the land by screaming free Larry Hoover, I'm going to have to do something. I got to figure it out. Let me go talk to my A&R guy. Let me go talk to my manager, my business manager, my accountant, my tax consultant. Let me talk to my mama, my grandmama. But them motherfuckers going to have to use their platforms when the people demand it to push the agenda. Period. So, when y'all understand what's taking place, I'm telling y'all who the three kings that's rightfully heirs to the land. These are the ones Big Mama won't walk in the land as free men claiming they shit so that they can put Big Mama back on her fucking throne. And until that happen, the weather is just going to deteriorate. Motherfuckers going to start dying from weather invasion. Hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, motherfucking tidal waves, tsunamis, hailstorms, sleet. It's going to happen everywhere. There's no escaping this shit. This is a universal and galactic dictate that this takes place it's only up to the people now right it's the people's responsibility to decide to choose freedom over slavery it is the people's responsibility to find those pushing the liberation and freedom agenda to their freedom to get the message out and support that message you have to be clear on who you are and what you capable of before you can even know who you are and what you capable of. You will always be second guessing yourself if you don't take some form of action. Everybody that be watching me that understand what I'm saying need to be doing the same goddamn lives right after me. Tell it from your angle how you see it. Don't tell it how I see it. You can use what I see to help you see better from your angle. And the more angles we hit this shit, right, that's the more angels we inject into this shit. And all of the angels is solar oriented because they come in on angles of light. That means when they solar oriented, they soul oriented. And we are the soul people of the earth. We are the salt of the earth. The seasoning, the shit that make this motherfucker say ooh la ooh la ah. That's why we here. Right, to uplift each other, raise the frequency of each other, and when that happened, we pop they motherfucking badussy. Just like that. We got to overrun. Yep, Goddess Makita, the waters are coming soon, Empath. Yes. And so, um, all of this is instrumental. There's nobody that's not valuable or needed. Everybody, every child, ask your baby, your seven-year-old, let them listen to the video, record what the baby say. The baby going to tell you something. I don't know what he going to tell you, but he going to tell you something more closely tied to the truth than a brainwashed, grown-ass, go-along to get-along, boot-licking, tap-dancing, brown-nosed, slave-minded motherfucker. The babies ain't, they ain't corrupted yet. So they only know to tell you the truth. So when the baby's telling it to you the same way I'm telling it to you, y'all need to listen. 
they ain't been lied to thoroughly enough yet for them not to see the problem. And not to see the ones who see the problem and speaking the truth. Put your baby by the screen and see how they react. Watch the expressions on their face when they know that the truth being spoken. Fuck these grown motherfuckers. Right? Especially the sisters. You, you don't have time to raise a 35-year-old, 6-year-old. You don't have time to raise one. We It's too late for that now. He going to either have to man up or bitch out. Them is only two options. You can't sit there and nurse this motherfucker insecurities when he know he's supposed to be standing up and he asking all these coward questions. Well, what if I do this? And what if I don't do that? Man, fuck what you talking about. You either going to stand the fuck up or you ain't. Quit trying to negotiate whether you stand up or not. It's non-negotiable. It's only two positions in this shit. The right side and the wrong side. I'm choosing the right side. I'm choosing the right side. Big Mama said always choose the right side. Mama said if you do what's right, God going to take care of the rest. So do what you already know is right. Tell the truth. Shame the devil. And run these motherfuckers out of here with the truth. Yeah, all of this, all of the books is way more in depth than the um, movies. The movies are watered down versions of the books. Unless they were straight from a script. Yeah, I'm in Michigan too, man. I heard, oh, I heard I was asleep. I was resting because I don't really sleep. But I was resting last night. And I don't know if it was in the astral or in the physical. But I heard the loudest bang I ever heard. It sounded like the earth had ran into a brick wall. That's the sign right there on the highest levels because that shit was so fucking loud. I damn near stood up. Never heard nothing that loud. Each one teach one. We all might reach some. I'm telling y'all what to do. Do a free Larry Hoover live on your shit. Go live on your page. If it's three minutes long, if it's 60 seconds. If you don't know what to say, say, I don't know what to say, but I know from the standpoint of the people of the land, we need to get Larry Hoover free. You ain't got to say nothing else. Post that shit. And tell everybody in the, or in all of y'all, say the same thing, post the same thing, because this is how we reclaiming our shit. We, this our shit. We ain't taking nothing from nobody. They took it from us. Right? We didn't take anything from anybody. They took it from us. We didn't swear to be anybody's enemy, but they swore to be our enemy. We didn't swear none of them blood oaths. They swore all of those blood oaths to steal what was ours by keeping us deluded as to who we were. That's up to us. It ain't up to them. They, they don't have no control over us unless we surrender control. I ain't surrendering shit. I ain't stopping. I ain't backing down and I ain't shutting the fuck up. We need to see three kings on the land. Period. Yeah, it's principalities in this shit, says Big Worm. It's principalities. We finna bust their principalities in their principal head. Right? And what's the principle? The principle is the thing in which the debt is predicated upon. Because without the principle, you don't have a debt. Yep. Y'all are doing all of the weather reporting. I'm telling y'all, this shit is a wrap. Mother Earth gonna shit. I don't have to do nothing but tell y'all. And the more I tell y'all and the more people click, the more Mother Nature wake up. And the more Mother Nature wake up when we don't see these three kings, the more she's gonna raise hell. That's all. That's all. Big Mama don't play. Right? Big Mama don't play. She tell her boys to go get something. Y'all keep underestimating these country boys. Y'all must don't know all of the game in the hood came from the South. Everybody that you know that called themselves a master in the streets is using the game that came from the South. We used to send people to New Orleans to learn how to function in every major city around the land. 
New Orleans was a training ground for the game that we call street game. We call it living off the fat of the land and learning how to use the land without hurting the people. That's what we call it, right? Living off the fat of the land, you ain't supposed to hurt the people. So, these motherfuckers is charging y'all money for shit, they lying to you. They just trying to get rich. I'm not charging nobody for nothing. I'm just going to tell this shit. The rest of it going to sort it out because I know this. This is why I don't charge. When we get our shit back, Big Mama opened the vault, right? And she's only going to open it at the at a National Ocean Celebration. The return of the Sweetwater Celebration from coast to fucking coast mean that we got rid of the goddamn devil. They gone. But you ain't getting that shit while we warlocked. We locked in war. We've been in war the whole time. We never surrendered. We never backed down. We tried to negotiate peace, and they violated every treaty to negotiate peace. They don't want peace with us. They want us to bow down, be submissive, subservient, subservient slaves to their system of oppression, subjugation, child molestation, kidnapping, and rape. They want us to support this agenda of the bloodletting rituals of mass slaughterhouses. You don't slaughter anything in mass, period. Fish, birds, cattle, none of that shit. You only, you only kill the animals to feed the family. And everybody's not supposed to be meat eaters. But everybody ain't supposed to be vegan either. When you get to your tribal cuisine, it's going to feel different to your body because it's going to automatically be soul food to you. And your soul food is the food that invigorates all of your genetic memory to kick in and tell you who you are and where you came from and why you like what you like. Right? And stop being so fucking judgmental. You can see through shit. We all want to tell somebody else you don't know what he's talking about. Fuck that nigga. They don't want to investigate. Right? So I tell the motherfucker, before you come fuck with me, make sure you go through my catalog thoroughly and look at the receipts. And you're going to understand, I'm not just talking. Right? So, when I did the Fuck Your Ding video, right? The video prior to that was an Islamic-related discussion. Because the Moors had came at me, they dropped the Moors science assault, and they came at me with a straight Islamic assault. So I addressed that shit. I addressed it because I had to address it because I had to put it in the public domain for the people to see that some bullshit don't got nothing to do with us. Right? So we don't care if Muslims come over here and practice their religion as long as they don't try to force it on the Christians. We don't care if the Christians practice their religion as long as they don't force it on the Jews. We don't care if the Jews, Christians, and Muslims practice their religion, but now that they're trying to force it down the throat of the people of the land, we got a problem. Now we got to bust that shit in the Badusi. We have to dissect it, rip it open, and find out where it came from, who put it together, and what's its purpose. All religions is created in Rome. Your three monotheistic religions are Roman origin. They was written under the orders of Constantine in order to spread his rule around the world. And then when Rome allegedly fell, power was ceded into the hand of the Pope, which he had a triple crown to indicate political, military, and religious power. Right? So we know who it is doing the shit. We need to stop taking sides with some 1,400-year-old year doctrine that has nothing to do with us. 2,000-year-old doctrine that has nothing to do with us. Or a 4,000-year-old doctrine that has nothing to do with us. Because while they was over there in their feudal system, warring clans, we was over here warring clans too. But the thing about us, we might fight among each other. But we promise you this, we'll burn this bitch down, get us pissed. Right, Pac? They already know. We know. It's been already put in the public domain that we know everything they did.
So at some point, the ones of us going to have an itch. It's not going to be satisfied until we find at least two people to tell it to. Some of us, it's just going to be bigger because we got bigger platforms. So we're going to be telling a hundred here, a thousand over there, two thousand over there. I'll come on anybody platform and tell this shit. But if they come with that religious controversy, I'm busting that shit in the head without mercy, without motherfucking forgiveness, because they don't have no mercy and no forgiveness for all of this raping and pillaging they doing on our land to our people, our women and our children, especially the children, right? But if we ain't going to stand the fuck up, somebody going to stand up. I'm just trying to see who it's going to be because I'm not bagging down. I spearhead this shit to the motherfucking end of the earth because they not staying here. On my, not if I have anything to say about it. The only reason, only way these motherfuckers will be able to win is if y'all disregard everything I goddamn say. Politics was created in Rome. They stole it from the discourses of Greece. When they were trying to figure out how to run their own government and Helen was their leader. They switched Helen into a man in Rome. That means they switched the gender of God in your face without telling you. Right? So once they switched the gender of God, now they told you that God was a man and the first motherfucker he created was a man named Adam. That is the atom of a lie that's about to turn into a nuclear holocaust for their ass and all of their lies. Because there's no possible way for a man to precede a woman unless that man got a womb. And if that man got a womb, he ain't us. So, um... I'm looking for the brother that was doing the live last night to message me back because he want me to come on there and talk about the Larry Hoover situation. And I'm going to politely ask him to invite those two brothers from last night because I love the shit out of somebody that understood what I was talking about without me having to break it down to every fucking letter in the words that I'm using to make sure you understand what I'm saying. This shit is not easy. It's not easy because now at the same time I'm talking legalese, I got to talk colloquial language. At the same time that I'm talking political double speak, I have to translate that shit back into the colloquial language. And when I'm speaking about um, metaphysics, I have to convert all of these different languages. I have to try to figure out a way to... Uh, Expose it in a way that your brain can recognize what I'm saying clear enough for you to take action. I got a couple questions in here I'm about to check out. Everybody can be doing the same thing, Deadshot44. I'm going over it in this video, giving clear instructions on what we could be doing. Um... Right, but here go the thing. Okay, so she asked, "Would it be okay? Wouldn't it be right to have your own land, house, and all of those? Even if you buy a house right now, under the system that we under right now, you don't own no house you pay for. You can buy a seven million dollar house. You got to pay taxes on it every year. The taxes has nothing to do with the purchase of the house. If nobody buys the house, there's still taxes on the house." Who in the fuck getting the taxes? What are they doing with the money? Right? You never see it. They use allotments that they borrow against our principal. Right? They borrowing against our principal. Big Mama's bank. Banking on the fact that we'll never figure it out. And their creditors is believing they bullshit that we not going to never figure out that we didn't come on ships. That we was already here. That we been doing business with Africans. 
We've been intermarrying with Africans. We've been intermarrying with Asians. We've been intermarrying with the pale nations of Europe. All of this shit old as dirt. Now they come in and try to make us think there's some new shit. And they introduce this racism shit. I don't understand what that shit is. You either human or you're not. And they not. Unless they motherfuckers to soul us out. That look like us. That conjured them motherfuckers into this dimension. Because they didn't get here by accident or haphazardly. They were invited here by some motherfuckers who was disgruntled because they didn't like the fact that God was a woman. And since they didn't like the fact that God was a woman, they wanted to replace God and give her a penis. That's the craziest shit I ever heard. Okay, so somebody said they on Section 8. Use all of their shit that you can benefit from and don't do nothing they can benefit from. If you got a credit card, go out and prepare for the, for the blackout because we're going to have about a week of Tribunal TV to watch with nothing else to watch because all streaming systems will be shut the fuck down. To make sure y'all understand what's going on and who was behind it and all of the dirty players that confess, some of them didn't and went to the gallows with overwhelming evidence, you will see their trials. All that shit got to be made known. They all the ones that confessed. Yeah, some of them on tape doing the dirt, denying that that's them. Right? It's okay. Ain't nobody escaping Big Mama. Big Mama and Mama is orchestrating this shit be from the other side of the crossroads. And we not already cleaned that shit up. We just waiting on the people to be aware that when you tune in to yourself, you're going to automatically click with your tribal clan mind. Your tribe is going to flip you signs, but you have to be aware enough of yourself to be able to see them. You're welcome, sweetie. Mm, so who is just trying to get in here? Miss ESPN. I'm going to see what the system might want to ask me some questions. There's no, no problem talking to nobody. So. Oh, wow. I didn't think you was going to add me. I've been sitting here waiting and waiting. What's going on? How are you? Peace out. I'm good. How you doing? I'm good. Um, I wanted to talk about, uh, of course, Larry Hoover. I saw him driving to school with his his grandson. I went to school with his nephew. Um, they were all just down there in L.A. or whatever. So I don't see him really talking too much about it, like, you know, going live and, and being able to spread the truth or whatever. And I just thought it was odd. But um, one question that I have for you was I just went blank. That's crazy. That's crazy as heck. I just went blank. So the reason why a lot of his family members are not saying anything in the open and they only have they got one spokesperson right now and that's Larry Hoover right. Jr. The rest of them he's whatever he's saying, they all agree with him. If they didn't agree with him they have to come out in the public and say they don't. Right. They're not going to do that because they all agree with him. They know what's going on. They know what's at stake. Wow. And if his direct family, because uh, uh, little Larry, well, he well secured, believe it or not, spiritually and physically. Right. But if the rest of his family decided to speak out, then they'll start trying to pay somebody that look like us to physically hurt them. Oh. That makes sense. So, so his family on stand down. They got one front man. Yeah, because he's on. And that's Larry yeah, Hoover Jr. Talking. And he's speaking on behalf of the entire family. So whatever he's saying, the whole family is in on it, or they they wouldn't be silent. Right. Okay. Um, like I said, I just knew all of these different. 
You know what I'm saying? I just was trying to figure out, of course, at a young age, what it was. Um, and again, like, I went to school with uh, Jeff Ford, his, his granddaughter. And, like, we, I didn't even know her from, like, a can of paint. And uh, we, had, we had kind of, you know, began to build without her being able to tell me who her grandfather was. So, I obviously, I had to put two and two together. And when I did, it was just like, man, when we exchanged numbers, again, they know who we are before we know who we are, right? So when me and her exchanged numbers, it had said BFF. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is my best friend. Like, and to this day, we're still cool. We're still tight. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we build, of course, but it's just it's just amazing. Larry's Larry's family spokesperson is his daughter. Okay. I think her name's Amina. Yeah, Amina Matthews. Me and her, me and her chopped it up. Yeah. And I did, again, at that time, I didn't know her from nowhere, but it was like my spirit connected to hers automatically. And then like when me and her talked, it was like I've known her for years. And it was like a lot of questions that I had, it was already answered. Like, it was crazy. It was just mind, it was just mind blowing. Like, it was one of them like aha moments, like, like you said, like all the answers are with us. We just gotta go within ourselves to be able to go ahead and unlock those answers. That's just that. Yeah. So, um, it's unfortunate a lot of people in Chicago don't know what's going on, especially our youth, because they killing each other. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's, it's, it's it's not them. It's not them. It, it's the outsiders just paying them to do it. They don't they don't see what's going on yet. Outsiders are paying the paint, putting hits on people. This is so that they can keep up the confusion. Yeah. And then we not knowing no better because Jeff and Larry can't come together in public and tell them, look, we ain't with that bullshit. Right. They lying to y'all. Yeah. That's why they want to keep them buried 23 hours, 24 hours a day away from the public where they can't communicate with nobody to tell them what's going on. Well, I'm out here. And I'm going to tell y'all what the fuck going on. Fuck them motherfuckers and fuck who, the horse they rode in on. Absolutely. They brought, the war, they brought the war to us. We didn't take it to them. Yeah. So since they brought the war to us and since they finally let me say something, I'm not going to stop. Absolutely. I'm going to beat this motherfucker horse to that motherfucker dead for right. real. You know? And so, that's what it is. So if you talk to Amina, tell her uh, whenever she ready, I'm ready. I'll definitely do that. Like, me and her, we, we click. So I, I'll definitely reach out for you. It's not a problem with me at all. Soon, tell her whenever she, she know what you're talking about. Show, show her one of the videos. Say, he said, whenever you ready, show her this one. Whenever you ready, I'm ready. I got you. We get on this. We get on this motherfucking blow this bitch up. GD the motherfucking peace stone. We'll set this shit off. See, look, this is what people don't understand. My mama was the queen, the queen of the vice wow. Okay. In the fifties, they were. It started out outlaw vice lord bikers. Mm -hmm. And um, my my big mama the one told her how to get the power. Mm -hmm. My daddy, they called him Fork. He was the he was the chief of the Blue Lodge out of Mississippi. Mm -hmm. All right. Now my daughter is a P Stone. Mm -hmm. I'm a G. I'm a GD. Right. My my daughter been knowing I'm a GD all her life. She's still a P Stone. Wow. And all they friends B Stones. I be over in the house mm -hmm. with them. We be chopping the game mm -hmm. up. They be asking me questions and I be answering mm -hmm. them. You know what I mean? Her brother, he the crown prince over there. I can't even gonna say his name because I ain't gonna put him out there to be Absolutely attacked. Not. But but he 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 the crown prince. So when I told him it's time to get to get the chief out, he was like, bet. And he sent it up the chain of command. And they sent me the answer back down to chain the command, and here I wow. am. Yeah, I'm uh, again like his like um, I ain't gonna say his name, but uh, I went to school with uh, Amina Matthews' nephew. 
So it's like, it's so crazy. Like, I promise you, like, I don't even be looking for stuff, but like, I knew for a long time that I was different than my peers. Like, I just couldn't really put, you know, pinpoint it. So it was like one of those, I had to walk, like, by myself. I just felt alone. And I just felt like people didn't understand me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, my mama a whole minister. My mama a minister. And the saying is true. You got to unlearn what you have been learned. You know what I'm saying? That you have been taught because <sighs> I can't even put this stuff on words, y'all. Like, this stuff is deep. I already this know where you're coming from. Man. And I'm like, you know, I'm like the outcast. And I'm like, I feel like the black sheep for real because a lot of people don't understand, don't understand where I'm coming from. You look at it like, I'm crazy and all that stuff. I'm like, y'all don't even know the half. I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I want my people to wake up. But I, it's not my job to wake them up. You know what I'm saying? I don't want, I don't want that target. You feel what I'm saying? But I had to, well, I definitely. It's my job. Yeah, of course. But see, you know, with me, I, I want to do this sports. I want to be a sports journalist. So what's crazy is, um, she had told me uh, that basically, uh, you know, I don't belong. Like, spiritual people don't belong in the entertainment world or whatever. And I'm like... Spiritual, real spiritual people belong wherever the spirit leads them to go. And that's what I was saying. I'm like, man, I love sports. Like, I've been that way for a long time. Somebody always got an opinion about what you should do with your life when it comes to spirit. Everybody got an opinion. Just like they got an asshole and all that shit stink. True. So what you do is be you, be yourself, remember who the fuck you is, stand in your power. Whether you a sports commentator, a trash man, you know what I mean? It don't matter. As long as you got pride in what you're yeah. doing. And you, cause, uh, but they're not realizing that that's just an art form. It's, it's an my art way form. of expressing myself. Yeah. So when you stifle the art, you stifle the spirit because the spirit speaks to us mostly in the art. This is why so many messages come through the music. Even if you don't know what you write. Like, I write shit. Um, I write rhymes. And I know what the fuck I be saying. I write for Larry Hoover and this motherfucking first verse. You thought he was bad? This nigga is worse. Well trained with the mind of a platinum back general. I'm looking at these niggas looking scary and pitiful. Mm. Now they claim to be G's, but they knocking at their knees, never knowing in the game real niggas don't freeze. Real G's regroup. We come back with a new plan, overcome obstacles, and bond for the real fam. Well, here I am, motherfuckers. I'm ready to roll all out and hold down the front line of Satan snatch my mm. soul out. Mm. No doubt. I lean on my own mind, the soldier, the general, and platinum with my own spine. All the time, them niggas in the background mumbling, they front line fumbling. They talking about Larry and these motherfucking <laughs> numbers and never take the time to understand real freedom takes a real plan, organized action. It's thoughts for a you free speak. man. I ride for black leaders, all the shakers and movers. I'm going to ride for Jeff Ford like I ride for Larry Hoover. You understand you what I'm saying? I, I feel like I know. I feel like that's crazy. You got bars, like for real, like. <laughs> and, and man, I don't know how I found you, Rod, but the spirit definitely led to me, led me to you. And I don't, I followed your, you know, this page as well as your other page. And I'm like, man, like, I'm just, I'm honored. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I'm really honored. I just know I'm on the right path, and I just gotta continue to to, to put my right foot in front of my left. That's it. Like. Cause I know. Yeah. So my daughter, my daughter, trying to get me to Chicago for Christmas. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So you should. Um, but I wish. We but when when I get down there, there, I'm gonna lie. Like we could really build. Like I could really tell you, like how I really feel, and like really connect you to them people. Like I told you, like for real, for real. And that on. We know what's you know I'm saying. Whole different level. Like off this. Like for real. So I'm i I'm gonna send you my information. And then we can go from there. Like, if you're really serious about coming here, let me know. Like, for real. I come to Chicago for all the time. Yeah. Yeah we, yeah, we got a link. Shit, I'd be out in the wild hundreds. I'd be down on the low Look at end. You. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, hanging out in Mo. I'd be hanging out in Motown. And that's what look. That's where uh, most of my people from. Inglewood. Yeah, you know. 
daddy. Yeah, that's, that's where I got blessed in at Look, in Inglewood. I got blessed in in Inglewood. Years. The stuff that I like, like I ain't gonna lie, Michelle. This one, I'm gonna say this one story, and I'm gonna be done with it. Like, my mama worked in Inglewood High School. It was this guy. Um, his name was Maurice Davis. He ended up getting killed, and he would have been like the next LeBron James. <laughs> Excuse me, and um, that he led. I think I know you're talking about coming out that coming out the store. No, no, no. He was coming. He, he was coming out of he was coming out of Inglewood High School, and he was protecting sister oh, okay. or whatever from her boyfriend at the time and the boy and he basically beat the boyfriend up in school and when he got out of school the boyfriend ended up shoot him and killing him in front of the in front of the school um so he was the one that but we don't we don't got they look but we don't got school shootings though right because they never hit the news right exactly yeah you, hey you hear uh, dj quick he say school shoot comps has got uh in compton they shoot up schools too they cruise through somewhere in red, wondering who's blue. <laughs> Look, but we don't get no news coverage for our school no, shoes. don't. But you know what? Honestly, it, it, that did Who? make the news back then. It made the news, but it wasn't like it wasn't like all over. You know what I'm saying? It was local. It was, yeah, local. It was local. But when I when I tell you, like he would have been the next LeBron James, and he and his brother ended up living out his dream. His brother, um, his brother name is uh, DeAndre Liggins. I don't know if you guys may be familiar with who he is, but he ended up living out his brother's dreams. He ended up going to the league. He ended up going to Kentucky with John Wall. He ended up playing with um, uh, OKC with uh, Kevin Durant when they had all on Westbrook and everybody. He ended up, you know, living his dream. So that right there what led me to really, really want to talk about sports, to tell his story, because a lot of people didn't know his story. So a lot of people don't know DeAndre background. So that's why I'm like, man, I really want to do this documentary. And that's my passion. That's why I was like, man, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. You know, uh, you know somebody else from Chicago you might be interested in research. His name was Johnny Selby, played for UNLV. Okay. And um, they, get, they gave him a dope case to ruin his career when he was in high school because he was a high school standout. What? So by the time he got to college, he had been fighting this case. The colleges wasn't really, wasn't giving no playing time. Mm -hmm. Right? But shit. Uh, Jalen Rose, all of them used to come get him and play basketball with NBA players. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was the one that was put, and, and Larry wanted him to stay out of trouble. Yeah. So that's how we knew that the case was fabricated because the folks had their hand of protection around. He wasn't, he didn't have to sell anything. Mm -hmm. They was going to give him, because cause he was, a, you know, everybody get behind the star and push that motherfucker across the finish yeah. line. If we push that motherfucker hard enough, we, a whole bunch of us might fall across with him by accident. Yeah. Push the winner, cross the finish line. When you seem close, if he gets confused and don't know which way to go, tackle that motherfucker across the finish mm -hmm. line. Right? So this is how this is our mentality that go back thousands mm -hmm. of years. So when Larry say, if one of the boys is doing right, he gave the order to the governors before he ever went to the AdMax. Mm -hmm. This is in the 80s, the early 80s, when he was still in um, Stateville. Mm -hmm. He said, any one of these boys that's trying to do the right thing, back them up, keep them out the streets, keep them away from the banging mm -hmm. shit. Right? But that's all he can do. He's, he's, not, on, he's not on deck to, in, to enforce it to the level it needs to be enforced on. He can't see who's bringing tons of cocaine into the community the most he can do if he's lucky is try to control it so it and keep the fire contained the same with Jeff mm -hmm. right so you got we got to keep in mind these dudes been off the streets for 50 years between the two of them they got damn near 100 and some years in and then we looking like what's wrong with our communities mm -hmm. The leaders that we pick in our communities are removed by the invaders on our land. It's that Absolutely. simple. Everything they use to remove the leaders from our community is the exact same shit they was doing while they were removing our leadership. Right. You know, so this is where we at with it. We got to wake up. It's time. This is the wake up call, it's right? It's time. And you know what? 
a lot of people around me were just like, why haven't you started? Why haven't you started? And it's like, I am. I'm taking my time. It's going to get there. Um, you know, just some stuff I got to I gotta, uh, I gotta do first. But y'all going to see me soon. Trust and believe me. Y'all definitely going to see me soon. But um, I just wanted to say that I, I really want to really link up with you and uh, talk more in depth about a lot of things. And um, we'll go from there. Yeah, we talk offline because I, I, I know it's some stuff you want to tell me. I can see it in your face that you can't say openly. So we'll talk offline. Okay, I got you. I got, a, uh, I got another guest who want to come in, so I'm going to let him in for Peace a so minute. To uh, I got you. Peace, sweetie. It was good, good talking talk to, to you. you. Bye-bye. Yeah. TK, C35, what it do, dog? What it do? Come on in here. I value your patient, brother. I appreciate you, you know, for real. Like, honestly, um, I got to thank uh, Rashad Jamal, honestly, because, you know, he, like, you follow me on my other page, uh, Find Your Change. You send me all your lives and that. <clears throat> but, you know, honestly, you know, beyond this journey, fam, I didn't even know who this Larry Hoover was, you know, I didn't know any of this stuff, you know, but you, you elaborated me and like, you know, being, you know, I don't even like to use these terms anymore, like colored terms, but being like a mixed breed, you know, you see it out here in that, right? And you see how you get treated from the other races and shit like that, but I embrace it, you know? Now a lot of us embrace it, fam, and I live in Canada, you know, and a lot, and I, I really had to explain it to you, like, connected a lot of, like, individuals in the States, you know, everywhere, Chicago, everywhere, right? So, and I love how the goddess said it, you know, being on, uh, being alone, but it's nice because you really get to expand this, you know? And, mm -hmm. you know, I, like I say, I like, um, I love all your posts because, you know, I, I go back to them and, you know, just, like, take little, little, you know, and just, like, do my own research, you know what I mean? Because I always believe, like, I say, not everything is out there is the truth. And watching Larry Hoover Jr.'s um, live when he sent it to me, it was very deep, you know, because it got me thinking, because I, I we all listen to Drake, we all listen to Kanye West, stuff like that, right? But with the, with the whole... How do you explain it? When you bring up the whole, um, the, like, the gay agenda, if you want to say it. A lot of them affiliate with that. You know what I mean? And something I want to ask you. Drake, he doing that with Kanye and Larry Hoover. He has the whole, you know, the little symbol, if you know what I mean. The swirly symbol. And... I want to. If it's tat, listen. If you see that tattoo mm -hmm. on a guy, he was extracted from a sex uh, ring when he yeah. was a child. They put that on. They put that on the babies to mark them. You're talking about the uh, Pizza Gate Pizza symbol, Gate right? Symbol, yeah. So, like Chris Brown, mm -hmm. Chris, Rihanna, Rihanna, and Chris Brown staged a public display in order to for him to be able to escape. Yeah. Right. So you see the shoe on the on his pizza gate symbol. You remember why we throw shoes on on I don't know if you're from our hoods, but here when we uh somebody get locked up or murdered, we throw a pair of shoes on the um telephone lines oh, up yeah, in the air about, yeah. or in the trees. You see it in the movies. You see it in a lot of right. movies too. They show it. They sit like in that. Yeah, it's annoying you mean. Right. So that's a memorial. Don't forget about these children is what Chris Brown tattoo mm -hmm. was saying. Yeah, I seen that recently too. I was one of these I was one of these motherfuckers that they was trying to sex traffic or was sex trafficking. The any anyone of them you see with that tattoo, they were branded by their captors. Mm, okay, 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 okay. Makes yeah, because I was I was wondering I was like because I say like I, I never like especially like Chris Brown, a lot of us like, you know, listen to him and that. I never seen him because especially, you know, but um, it was all like, I know it's all like the part of like the whole distraction and like the part of the agenda and stuff. So I, I was like surprised when Larry Uber Jr. like 
was like you know um it was getting his dad out and stuff like that it's like going with it because you know because how with everything he said in that but um another thing too is that um i want to ask you um but it's like and it's it's not what this but the whole uh, you said the tribe thing so will we find out because i know we all have to go with it and, and i'm still you know so like trying to figure out and not like what tribe I'm from and that but um will we get to know when everything goes down what tribe we're going to come from so look there's two ways you're going to know one is you're going to be you going in your life you're going to get the a, a tribal call it's going to come in some form of symbolism a lot of us don't remember how to read the signs so we're going to have to go back through the birth certificate scenario to trace back lineage to the trust mm -hmm. cuz they use the birth certificates to secure the principle the use of the principle and the principle is held in trust it's held in abeyance until we realize who we are then we can access all our tribal information and this is what me and Dane going to be talking about when he get done doing what he doing cuz he is the grid qualified to establish the claim in the public yeah. domain once he establishes the claim all tribes send him aid to perform a massive excavation of records and then they're going to have to tie him in to the social security lines in order for you to your tribe to be plucked out of there and you to get what's rightfully belonging to you by birthright Yeah, because I agree with you saying like with the whole money and that. Like I quit my job, I quit all that shit. You know what I mean? Like I'll be honest with you, brother. Like I threw, out, I threw out all my ideas, brother. Like I'm done with it. You know what I mean? I'm ready for like what you're saying and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's just like I can't see us like go through this shit anymore. This like slave, like you know, slavery and like our brothers going to jail, like you know, and all this shit, the shit. And it's like hearing like what you're saying has been going on for like pretty much centuries, if you want to say or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like I want to thank you, but I gotta thank myself because you know you're my reflection on it at the end of the day. And you know, it's just like how you said it. Uh, Mother Universe or a Big Mama, you know, she led me to your page and she led me to right now to do a live with you. So, you know, I got I, I got to appreciate everything you do because, you know, what you're doing right now is just like we should all be really really doing. It. I'm going to be definitely doing a live after you know this and that, you know. And um, you know, it's just like how you say, you know, you 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 really, you know, show no fear, you know. And you you bring that to all of us, and you know, and it's just like we need that right now, you know. And I say it, fam. You yeah, need your I, flowers, fam. I don't have no fear. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't have no fear, and I ain't looking for no flowers. I'm looking mm -hmm. for freedom. And I feel you. And so I'm gonna keep knocking for freedom, and then when we get done with the freedom. I'm a plant a garden of flowers <laughs> all across the goddamn land. I want to be there land. with you, family. But in the meantime, <laughs> yeah. In the meantime, I don't care about no flowers. I want to get free first. Nice to you. You know, I got another yeah, guest yeah. Uh, knocking yeah, to come yeah, in, and like I'm, I'm gonna me take on her. Time, like you know, but um, yeah, like you know, I keep doing your thing. You know, I'm gonna keep doing my thing, and that you know, I say like you know, we gotta keep speaking till whatever how it goes down. Like you know. And I always say, you know, no more lies, only truth. You know, so I value, appreciate you, yep. and everyone. You know, peace to all the goddesses and gods, even the human be beings vibrating high. I uh, peace. All right, peace, peace God. God. Going live within the bigger re rise road. Well, I'm waiting on her to come in. Uh, Darren Daniel, you welcome, my brother. We gonna keep on Grand knocking evening, till we get Grand this motherfucker evening. free. <laughs> um, Rod, I've been watching this for a while now, and <laughs> it's so much that I have to say. I've been going through so much right now. I've been going through a um, spiritual attack. Um, since I've been on, I have so much to say. <laughs> um, since I've been on my spiritual journey, um. It's been a lot, you know, 
um after my 30th after my for my 30th birthday um my third eye had ended up open i started to see dream um numbers in my dreams you know i'm a clairvoyant um i'm into tarot cards and everything like that so i just been having a lot of you know past life dreams and i basically have been definitely like you know under attack um i was dealing with someone that tried to look this is what you do this is what you need to do you, you need to do spiritual baths. I do. Baths. I do. Definitely. I do. Okay. What? Tell me how you do yours. Um. Well, I I have like different herbs. Um. I do like rosebud and um, rose petals and um, different flowers, and I put inside the tub with me. Okay. So you're missing some key okay. ingredients. All of those things are good for the spiritual bath, yeah. but you need an Epsom salt bath. Okay. How did you stand it? And you can use those herbs, whatever you feel is required, because if you use your creativity with it, it makes it stronger. Okay. Then when you get in the water, you got to wait till you submerge and pour a half a cup of alcohol okay. in there. The alcohol washes the aura. Okay. All right. So once you do that, um, as a medium, you have to also learn psychic self-defense because a lot of in information that you're picking up as attacks is not necessarily an attack. It's that as a clairvoyant, you're going to pick up good information and bad information. So you need to block the bad with psychic self-defense so that you can be used as a higher vessel. Yeah, um, someone I was just dealing with... Um... You know, I had ended up having a dream. I don't want to go into too much because I don't want to say too much on here. But um, they in a they in a society group, you know, and they was putting they put a spell on me. You know, I was sick for two weeks, um, probably about uh, three weeks ago. You know, and someone close to me is working with him. You know, um, they just tried to put something in my food just a couple of days ago. So it's just been like. <laughs> It's been a lot. I just lost my job, you know, from the things that I've known about the community of my job, you know, the people in my job, you know. So um, Spirit definitely just pushed me. I'm about to great start my YouTube channel up, you know, t um, you know, to be my own boss, you know, because me working at 9 to 5, it just, it just pushed me out, you know. So, look, I'm going to give you an opener. Okay. This is, this is going to open your channels up along the lines of what we already okay. doing. When, you get, when we get down on this live, okay. you do your live, you do a tarot read, mm -hmm. and you just ask the questions that you feel led to ask about the Larry Hoover situation. Okay. And then you pull the cards and you just read what they say to the people and they going to see the cards, they going to know you telling the truth. So okay. um, that's going to align you with all the rest of us and all of the motherfuckers doing that dirt they're gonna get the fuck away from you oh yeah i know because the I energy know. that you will be i know they can't take yeah me. that energy they can't take me i'm a motherfucking god if you hear me i tell them all the time you come for me my motherfucking ancestors are standing firm they are firm believers they're gonna take y'all the fuck out and slaughter y'all ass and feed them to the wolves yeah see i'm with the shits yeah I'm with this shit. right but i gotta be right but I'm with the shits when I'm right. I'm, when you see me clowning and nothing up on here, I already know I'm right. I already know I'm telling the truth. And somebody even said something that made me have to go nuts. Because yeah. I, I will nut the fuck up. I don't have no problem nothing yeah. the fuck up. But I got to be right. Yeah. Now, when I tell you, you know, see so right here? Let, this my, these are my dream journals right here. All my shit is in here. These books right here. All of my, all of my dreams, my, my, my synchronicities, um, my spirit guide, like it's man. When I tell you raw, it's so much shit that I, I just got this. I want to say, but I can't, I can't say too much, man, man. Mm -hmm. it's, you all right? You got this. Look, do the tag me. I want to watch the spread when okay. you do it. So give me an invite, and I'm gonna be over there watching. Okay. I got some more guests Thank trying you, to get in. I'm gonna see I can take a couple more before I get out. You're welcome, sweetie. Keep up the good work. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go with Stoudemire twenty three. See what the guy got to say. I don't know 
Here we go. Peace, bro. What's happening, man? Salute, comrade. What's going on? Man, with chilling, you? man. I had to tap in real quick. I'm glad you uh, brought me on, man. I had some questions for you. But, uh, Shoot. First of all, man, I wanted to say, uh, I was watching the live with uh, what's the lady named the Hood Hiller yesterday, man. I'm glad y'all connected because you know she got a big audience. And she really heavy in like the spirituality and stuff. And I was reading comments, reading comments, and everybody like wow, wow in the comments. So that made me feel good that everybody like receiving a message. So that was a good move on um, on y'all behalf or whatever. But uh, my question is, is we talking about uh, spirituality and stuff? Uh, what's your advice? Let me ask you a question, right? Let me ask her a question, right quick. She say a, a recipe book for cleansing. It's 101 Spiritual Baths is the title of the book. It's got 101 different spiritual baths in it. Um, that'll get you started. That was for Dead Shot 444. Okay, go ahead with you saying, bro. Okay, yeah, uh, so my question is, and you're talking about uh, clairvoyance, um, you know, the different clairs and stuff. How do you, uh, what's your advice on, like, strengthening your psychic abilities? The more you use it, the stronger you get. You use things like tarot to practice. You use things like picking up an object, seeing what information you can get off of it for practice. When you start be seeing the, the match, you start seeing how you pick the information up, and then you will understand how to translate how you receive energy from spirit different from me into the language that the people can understand. So the practicing of it is the building of the strength in order to be able to accurately translate spirit to physical. Okay. So do the work. You ain't got to do like no other type of other practices. Basically just doing it, practicing the, the, the practice makes perfect. Okay. For sure. And another thing, yeah. uh, angel numbers, angel numbers. Um, uh, I've been seeing them for years. Like, over 10 years before I even knew what the angel number was, I was I was seeing the same time, same gas prices. So I'm trying to figure out what it means because hey. I know it's beyond the, what, you know. Yeah, the numerology, because everything in creation is predicated up on sacred geometry. Right. right. And you see the numbers because spirit communicating with you and initiation by numbers is what it's uh -huh. called. Right. Now, it, the different numbers mean different things at different times, and they got variables. What's going on in your life? What your mind on when you see the number? Um, what other other events going on in the world? And then they correlate. And then you have to learn the language of the numbers in order to translate them. Like gematria and numerology is the study guide, and you get more skilled in it by tuning in your frequency by using the numerology and the gematria to understand how numbers flip okay right so that's the study guide for the numbers so start learning if you keep seeing the number if you keep seeing the number and you want to look it up um look up the spiritual meaning for that particular number and it'll give you a spiritual meaning and then you can use the rest of the things to extrapolate its meaning like what I was saying, events, what's going on in your life. So um, I'm going to um, exit you out this live. I got Dan Calloway trying no, to yeah, call sure. me. Go ahead. Y'all chop up, man. Yeah, this is urgent and important, so I got to no, take I that call. No, for sure. All right. Okay. So I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going um, to end this live so I can talk to Dane. I, I would talk to him on here, but I don't know how he would feel about it. So... Um, I'm going uh, to um, bring this to a close at this particular point in time, and I will be giving y'all an update. All right. Uh, sorry I didn't get to get y'all in on this video, on this one, um, but maybe the next one. Uh, Sosa Hermosa, Carbon Healer, Oglux Toro. I'm, I'm going to have to catch y'all on the next one. All right. Peace out.